Anton Vichers was seven years old when he got his first mandolin. Now what to do? That was easy. Learn some notes and enroll at the local music school. Fortune smiled on him because the local musicians became popular and got to perform regularly on radio. Anton's tree had been planted. Today, he no longer plays instruments, he prefers to make them. The mandolin of olden days became a guitar, which did not happen naturally. An aero engineering course came first, and a move to far Australia, of all places that, where the guitar, or rather the lute at the time, received special attention. Luis Panormo is in the guitar world, a name as popular as Anton Vichers. Today is the day of the Panomo guitar, gluing parts and creating vacuums, measuring the sound hole and building up the neck. Anton took his first steps on the guitar making path in Australia. He wanted to learn to play the lute, but a lute was nowhere to be seen. So what to do? Exactly, make one yourself, but then using only permitted materials. Some types of wood, ivory and tortoise shell are no longer allowed. One thing led to another. A large assignment to build a Baroque guitar took Anton to the museum. All attention was focused on an original Jean Vauboam Baroque guitar from 1699. The real work of pencil, paper and ruler began. The beginning of construction. The belly is pre-sawn roughly. The drawings and observations from the museum are the basis for the Baroque guitar to come. Bend or bust, the choice is clear. Bending is useful, the first contours of the guitar become visible and Anton, he looks with his fingers and decides whether one more piece is possible. The sides and back of the guitar are made of kingwood. Conservatories from all over Europe have found their way to his workshop. Anton has built more than 800 plucked instruments, from study guitars to baroque guitars and lutes. No music without technique. The old-fashioned handwork has been put in the computer. Anton's algorithms do the rest. Let's try it out. The steps from computer calculations to guitar practice requires much attention because the rosette must link perfectly with the sound hole. Uh, that is, uh... The rosette is made of parchment, like they used to do in the remote past. Does it fit or not? Fine tuning brings together the various components. Did the computer design start by itself or were the master's instructions carried out? In another corner of the workshop is the cedar used for the guitar head and neck. One more thing to finish the job. The assembly of the other components is an easy job. The guitar is upside down, which makes it easier to assemble the other components. The braces are given the right shape and he knows from experience exactly when to stop.
Besides building guitars, Anton has also become competent at playing classical guitar, so he knows what he is talking about. The people he used to play with and whom he met discovered his building talent and making quickly became more important than playing. The kingwood sides and the backs fit perfectly. Time for gluing. The clamps press belly and sides together. The small blocks on the inside of the guitar are in fact connection pieces, making sure that the various components make a whole. Both modern and traditional glues are used to hold things together. Now the back. The lining he bends ensures that the glue surface of the back becomes larger. The tuning pegs are made of boxwood. Sure, you can buy them ready to use, but Anton prefers to make them himself. After all, the strings will be attached to them, so I want to make sure they are made from the right wood. Time for a cheerful sound. With love and feeling and a firm swing, the signature develops of the next old master. After the last check, the back is attached for good, because fixed is fixed. Professional work still means that the work should be good in one go. A solemn moment, because the sound box is now entirely closed, and it will soon be clear whether the sound is indeed the sound he has in mind. Time for coffee and a rest. Anton again has big plans. He wants to renovate his workshop. The unsuspecting passerby might wonder if that is necessary, but Anton wants more light on his work. He's right, it should be one touch lighter, and that's also good for varnishing and drilling. At least you get to see every bit of dust, because otherwise the new owner might see it someday. The peg box and neck are almost ready. The tuning pegs are in place. Let decorating begin. The places of the 19 frets are determined. The frets are made of sheep gut, like in the old days, and tied around the neck. The top bridge is brought to shape and attached to the guitar neck. Well then, it has sound all right, that's what it's about. What about Anton? He is in an excellent mood. His guitar is a success and heading on a single ticket to New York. His renovation plans have been approved. Sounds great, like a top E.